Okay, so if you're watching this, you might have just seen my initial reaction to the 60th anniversary trailer. These were just my me initially watching the trailer. Now I'm actually going to go through it piece by piece, kind of analyze it. And then after that, we should be doing a live stream to discuss the trailer in more detail. A lot going on tonight. I'm very tired. I've been at a convention. But I want to talk about this trailer because it's really, really interesting. Some of the stuff that it shows off. So we start off at Cyberdog. This is the filming location that we saw way back when in, I believe it's Bristol, Cyberdog is located. It's interesting that if this is anything to go by, Bristol will be appearing as its authentic, or Camden at least. I think it's Camden. Yeah, it's Camden. Will be appearing as its authentic self. You know, they've not done it up with any sort of CGI or anything. It's going to be appearing as is. So we get the line, why does this face come back from Donna? Uh, and we get a brand new shot of... David Tennant there, looking very sexy, I must say. Um, and then she says the line to say goodbye, which I just think is really nice. Then we get a shot of a skyline with um, a building saying workplaces for people uh, to innovate, connect and thrive. Don't know whether that has any relevance, whether that's just a building that exists or maybe that's a hint towards Albion. I don't know. Uh, we get a shot of what looks to be Beep the meat ship, falling through sky, uh, falling through the sky. We get that scene that we've seen from filming of Donna carrying what looks to be a bunch of boxes, kind of uh, surprised to see the 10th Doctor, or what she sees to be as the 10th Doctor again, but obviously it's a new incarnation. We get a better look at what is almost certainly Beep the meat ship, given previous trailers. We get the shot of Yasmin Finney, uh, Donna's daughter, and the 10th Doctor, and David Tennant. I don't know why I keep saying the Tenth Doctor. He's the Fourteenth Doctor, but I'm just tired. Uh, I know I'm wearing his costume. <laughs> um, and then we get that shot of the Wrath Warriors that we've seen before, uh, which was in the first one. And now this is interesting, and I want to talk about this. So special one is called the Star Beast. That's the probably the least interesting kind of title that we have here, because the Star Beast is, as I mentioned in the initial reaction video, the original title that was used for the comic version of this story. So that makes total sense as a title for this introductory story to the 60th. But what is interesting is they are using a version of the 2008 Vortex, which seems to me to indicate potentially we will see an updated version of the 2008 sequence for the 60th anniversary. And then we get the second uh, teaser. And then we also get a shot of Donna in a spaceship when I think 10 says, Tenant says, I'm sorry, Donna. And you can see a bunch of machinery. Uh, I assume this is Beep the Beep ship still. We also get this shot of, again, it looks like Beep the Beep ship, but he's like investigating and it looks like sort of lower down. Um, and then we get Wild Blue Yonder. Now this is definitely, in my opinion, and I know some people might say Giggle is the most interesting title. To me, Wild Blue Yonder is the most interesting because that could indicate a variety of things and special two is the least known in terms of what's actually in it and we also know it's it's just me or does the vortex look slightly different in color it never used to go that color of blue did it um it's almost like a magenta purple almost um but maybe i'm reading into that too much who knows uh we get the shot of david Tennant outside i believe this was bristol I, I always get the filming locations mixed up we get that shot of uh neil patrick harris dancing in the chaos that he's presumably caused we get Donna looking on all horrified and mystified. So I'm going to assume, like I said in one of my previous videos, the Star Beast one will be kind of our lighter introduction. Then the second one will kind of be more Neil Patrick Harris, toy maker focused, maybe with him appearing in episode one as well. And then episode three will be our big like climactic finale. This is interesting. We got some weird puppets on these screens. I don't know whether it's definitely a unit base there. You can see the soldiers. I don't know whether this is like just a kind of um, a mock that uh, the toy maker is doing to unit and the doctor who are investigating or whether this is actually going to appear in a physical form. I assume it's more just like a kind of like almost like a Riddler type deal where um, it's kind of mocking the protagonists for trying to figure out um, the, the toy maker's plan. And then um, the doctor says uh, he's laughing at everyone on planet Earth. And then that leads us into the final title, The Giggle. Now, I, I saw a bit of controversy surrounding this title. I want to weigh in. I think it's a good title. I'm going to be completely honest. I think it's a really good choice. 
And the reason I say that is because it is so big and kind of funny, but also almost smug in that it's like it's so big that like it, it knows more than you, which to me is kind of perfect for the toy maker as a character. Now I know I've seen some people say, oh, but it's a regeneration story, you know, it's 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 14's final one. Should they have gone for something a bit bigger? Personally, I think that's the reason I like it. It's a neat subversion because every ending of in like a doctor's tenure is the something of the Doctor, the power of the Doctor, the time of the Doctor, or the end of time, or the parting of the ways, these grand, huge titles, and even going back to Classic Who, you know, you get some really, really, you know, well-known titles. The giggle, by contrast, is smaller, and I like that, and I think it also represents that Tennant himself is only staying for three specials. So, personally, for me, I kind of like the last title. That might be a hot take, but I quite like it. It's different. So yeah, we get that final, we get that final title reveal. And then we get Beep the Meep, adorably, kind of very E.T.-esque, kind of um, hiding in Donna's flat. And um, Donna pokes him in the eye, and then <laughs> Donna's like, what the hell is that? Um, and then that's how we end the trailer. Yeah, it's really nice. It was quite short, but then again, I guess it makes sense, because we are still like, what? six months out like it does make sense like title reveals are just enough to keep us all interested but not too much as to whether we're like we're finding out everything about it you know it's kind of a nice balance sorry i think i just bumped my desk but yeah i quite enjoyed it it was a good trailer but let me know in the comments below what you thought about the trailer i will be doing a live stream hopefully directly after this talking to you guys directly about what you thought about the trailer if you did enjoy this video be sure to give it a like Comment down below your thoughts, and of course, subscribe if you're new. Any new subscribers, all new subscribers are greatly appreciated. And also, while I'm here, huge shout outs to everyone who said hello at the convention. You guys made my day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Let me find the stop recording button. Whoops.